What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to make keto fat bombs. If you're new to the keto diet, you probably have a little bit of a hard time to eat as much fat as you're supposed to eat uh, when you are on a keto diet. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of if it's good for you or if it's not good for you. I'm just assuming that you have decided for yourself that this is the right diet for you. And um, I'm going to help you figure out how to reach your fat level for the day um, if you're not used to eating so much fat. So my husband has switched to the keto diet and he has kind of a hard time adding as much fat to his regular food, to his breakfast, to his lunch and to his dinner. So a great way to include fat is to eat fat bombs. And today I'm going to teach you three different varieties of fat bombs. All three are chocolate based, yummy. And one has a coconut butter, one has peanut butter and one has almond butter. So delicious. So let's get right into it. So first off, we're going to add a little bit of water into a small saucepan over low heat. And then we are going to place a glass bowl on top of it. And we're going to melt half a cup of coconut oil, or what I prefer to use is cocoa butter because it has a lot more of the regular chocolate taste. So you place that in the bowl and you wait until it's completely melted and then you add a quarter cup sweetener. Now, if you are on a keto diet, you know that you shouldn't be uh, consuming any high carb sweeteners. So in this case, we're using monk fruit sweetener, but you can also use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of stevia if you prefer that. Liquid stevia is really great. Um, the benefits of stevia are that it melts right into the chocolate, whereas the monk fruit sweetener doesn't really melt that well but I prefer the taste of monk fruit sweetener because it tastes literally like sugar and the stevia has a little bit of a weird aftertaste in my opinion, but use whatever you like. Um, if you're making some for friends and family that are not on the keto diet, you can use regular sugar. I do not recommend um, honey or maple syrup because it will make the chocolate curdle. So once you've added the sweetener, you're going to stir it for a little while until it's well combined. And then you're going to add half a cup of Dutch processed cacao powder. Um, this is the unsweetened kind, the raw kind, and you're going to add that, stir it really well. And this is your chocolate base. Remove it from the heat and keep stirring until it completely cools down, but is still liquid. This will take anywhere from three to five minutes. And then you're going to use a spoon and you're going to ladle all that chocolate goodness into a silicone mold. I do not recommend any other material because you won't get your truffles out. So I highly recommend you use a silicone mold. The shape and size doesn't really matter that much, but I'm going to link um, this one, the one that I'm using in the description so you can find it. Fill up your mold only to three quarters of its volume because we're going to add the little extra now. So once you filled it up on three quarters, all of it, you're going to add half a teaspoon of coconut butter to a third of the truffles, half a teaspoon of peanut butter to another third of, of the truffles and half a teaspoon of almond butter to the last third of the truffles. Then you're going to take your melted chocolate again and you're going to drizzle a little bit on the top so you fill up your mold all the way to the top. You take the mold, put it on a sturdy baking sheet and off it goes into the freezer for anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes until they're completely hardened. And then all there is to do, just pop them right out of the mold and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. My favorite is the coconut butter one. Please tell me in the comments below which one's your favorite if you try the recipe. And also don't forget to snap a picture, post it on Instagram, tag me. I want to see, I want to know how you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more recipes like this one. And I'll see you with my next video. Bye.